Hi guys, welcome to a new video and in this video I will be showing you how you can host a backend application or a node application free of hosting version. So let's begin the video but before starting I just need to ask you if you have not subscribed my channel then please subscribe for this kind of coding related videos. So let's start. So first of all this is the code which, which I have written. In this it contain a basic simple file that is index.js. Okay. And here I have added a node module to remove this node module at the time of hosting I have added a one more file that is git ignore that is node module I have mentioned so that at the time of pushing it to github this node module folder will not be added and except that all will be there okay and here I have one route when I will enter slash it will give me the response of hello from the server that's it so let me run it and show you once if I will do npm start here so you can see it is showing listening at the port 8000 so if I will open now localhost and then 8000 then you can see here it's showing hello from the server so after hosting also it will show this in the domain given by the virtual okay so let me show you and this npm start it is running because i have mentioned in package.json npm start start i have written here and written node index.js that means node will run this index.js file which i have it here okay so for hosting your website or backend website in virtual there are three major steps which you need to do the first step is the engine this engine you need to mention what exactly how i have written you need to write like that and node version is 18.x i have made this video in 2024 so i am writing 18.x if you are watching this video in 2025 then write 20.x and if you are watching this video in after 2025 june okay so write 20.x so this is this step is mandatory okay once this step you have written in package.json the next thing is that create a file versal.json and in that versal.json exactly write whatever i have written write it exactly okay so if you have any other main file like i have here index.js if you have a server.js or something like that you can give it here but for me it is index.js so i have written like this okay these are the two things done. The next and the last thing is that you should have a GitHub account where you will push your code. So I have my GitHub account. If you don't have, then please visit to github.com and then create a new repository. So how you will create a new repository? For that, just click on this new button. Then here you need to write the repository. Keep it as a test because I'm just demonstrating you how you can do. You can write your repository name according to you. I'm keeping it public and then I'll click on create repository. Once I click on create repository, then I'll copy this remote from here. And then I'll go here and the steps what you need to write is first you need to write git init for initializing then you need to add it git add dot you need to write then you need to commit it git commit minus and any message so i will write initial commit i'll write then you need to add the remote what you have copied from there this is what i have copied then i'll click on enter then i will just push it to the master okay then i just pushed it to the master once the code is pushed to the master you can refresh and check whether your code is there or not if your code is there you can op now open versal if you don't have a versal account then please create a versal account it is very simple for creating those accounts so i am not showing the steps just you need to give email address and you need to connect with github okay so you can click on add new once your account is set up you can click on this add new and then you can click on the project okay then it will show you if your github is already linked it will show all those repositories so at the time of signing up give this github account link this github account with your versal okay then you can see this test repository is created so i need to import it just click on the import and don't change anything here click on the deploy but before that one major thing that is env if you have a lot of env files right now in my code i don't have any env files env files are kept for putting all the secret uh, like secret variables we can make it there which we don't need to give to the outsider or the our means end users we don't need to provide so that we keep in the env file so directly you can write the key name and the value of env what you are using in this project okay and if you have okay if you don't have then you can skip the environment variable and click on the deploy once you click on the deploy based on your project size it will take time like i have my project size is very less so it will it may complete in like 5 10 seconds but if you have a very big project it may take one to three minutes it may take okay so you have to wait for that so it is already done so it will redirect me to the dashboard automatically so it is showing continue to dashboard i'll click on continue to dashboard then it is showing me visit so i'll click on visit so you can see now it is in running in this domain dot versal dot app and it is showing the same message that is shown in the local server hello from the server that means our website is completely hosted in Versal. If this video is interesting, like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching.